Pope Benedict's greatest legacy will be the new evangelization. From the very beginning of his papacy, the Holy Father has been pointing out to us that so many people in our culture today either do not know Jesus or have forgotten about Jesus, and that the task of the church in this new evangelization is to propose Jesus and the truths of his gospel to our culture once again. This will be the greatest legacy that our Holy Father leaves us during his tenure, during his time as head of the Universal Church. And that has been our Holy Father's message, strengthening the church and directing the church in that uh, mission. Yes. Well, the Mass, of course, is there to uh, pray for the Holy Father, and so there are great graces that come, and I'm sure throughout the world today, of course, at every Mass in every Catholic Church, people are praying for the Holy Father. But there is, um, there is great sadness in our hearts because uh, we believe that uh, Pope Benedict is a great Pope, and uh, we're sad that the condition of his health has apparently come to this state where he has made the decision that he has to uh, resign, um, that he's not able to continue because of the demands, physical demands upon him as the, uh, as the pastor of the Universal Church. So there was that element of sadness, of course, in our hearts that we feel he has had to come to this point regarding that. Let us pray for our Holy Father. Let us pray to the Lord to strengthen him and the church during this time of transition that is coming upon us. And let us pray for the College of Cardinals, who will have the responsibility of electing a new Pope. The new Pope who will be the 267th successor. shepherd my sheep and I will bring them together. That's the Lord's promise from the Old Testament times and Jesus says I am with my church all days even until the end of time so we know the good shepherd always is with us and so he's, he's going to be guiding us and directing us uh, through this time of transition. So yes it is a time of transition but there is not need to, uh, to fear or to be anxious because Jesus is always in charge of the church. He directs the church, of course, through uh, the Holy Spirit.